Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. God provides. September 20. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Luke 5, 5. John was one of the first to acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah. He had listened to the preaching of John the Baptist and knew that he was sent as the forerunner of him who was the hope of Israel. To John and Andrew, the Baptist pointed out Jesus as the Lamb of God. Jesus saw them following him and welcomed them to his humble abode. They remained with him that night, and when they left his presence, it was with their faith in his divine character and mission fully confirmed. Andrew went in search of his own brother Simon and brought him to Jesus with the welcome announcement, We have found the Messiah! The next day, Jesus called Philip to follow him. Andrew, Peter, James, and John were henceforth known as disciples of Jesus. Though they attended upon the preaching of Jesus and were much in his society, they still pursued their humble calling. But the time came when they were to leave their nets and their fishing boats and be more closely associated with Jesus. Crowds now attended upon his ministry, and as he taught by the lake of Gennesaret, so they pressed upon him to hear the word of God that he entered into Peter's boat and from it taught the people on the shore. And when he ceased speaking, he said unto Peter, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Peter answered that they had toiled all night and had taken nothing. Their labors had been fruitless in the usual time for fishing, and there was no human probability for success now. Nevertheless, Peter said, At thy word I will let down the net. It was done, and the draft of fishes was so great that the net could not contain them. And James and John, the partners of Andrew and Peter, were called to their assistance. An important and solemn work was before them. They were to give up their only means of support and spend their lives in unselfish efforts to save perishing sinners. But before he called them to this life of self-denial and dependence upon God, the loving Savior showed them that as the Lord of heaven and earth, he was abundantly able to provide for all their wants.